Hi, this is Dean Colomer, Gromark FS Agronomist. We're at Hershey today in an alfalfa field doing a little scouting. What we're looking for today and at this time of year in alfalfa stands is alfalfa weevil injury. So uh, Nathan and I have picked up a couple of terminals here of alfalfa and you can see the typical larval damage of alfalfa weevil kind of shot hole appearance of the uppermost leaves you can see here that have been uh, uh, eaten away uh, by the alfalfa weevil still in the larval stage. When 40% of the terminals show larval feeding in this shot hole kind of, ex of, of uh, feeding here, this is when the uh, uh, time, the uh, treatment time is warranted for alfalfa weevil. When 40% of the terminals are showing this shot hole uh, feeding classic appearance. The weevil treatment for uh, active or for the uh, threshold treatment is sometimes modified by the stage of the alfalfa. At this point, this alfalfa in the field behind us is at the bud stage. If Nathan, you focus nice and close there, you can see the uh, the uh, enlarged bud here, the flower bud that's going to open in just a small number of days. And if I feel this it's very um, uh, clear that there's a solid bud there and by by feel I can uh, I can detect that we're in the bud stage so you just saw an example of what the bud looks like and feels like you can feel that uh, uh, enlarged uh, bulb at the top that's the flower bud and you can do that by feel rather quickly and get an assessment of what percent of the terminals of the alfalfa are at that stage of growth. So if you just squeeze, you can just feel, simply feel which ones are in the bud and which ones are not, and then do a percentage of those that are, those terminals that are at bud stage or not at the bud stage yet. And by the feel, it seems like a little bit less than 40, uh, 50 percent or so of these uh, terminals uh, are in the bud stage. So part of this scouting assessment is to determine the size of the alfalfa larvae and the stage of their development because sometimes you'll want to modify your treatment of uh, your um, control treatment of insecticide based on the uh, size of the larvae of the alfalfa weevil. So in order to do that I'm going to take some sweeps here and typically you want to do 10 to 20 sweeps. Here today I'm going to do take 20 sweeps and then we're going to count the number of larvae that we have in those 20 sweeps to uh, be able to determine the intensity of the larval infestation and also the size. So I'm going to start sweeping the 20 sweeps now. Here I've got a uh, beating net that is quite a rigid handle that's suitable for this uh, task in alfalfa that's quite dense. I'm going to sweep about halfway down the plant because the uh, larvae are concentrated in the upper portion of the uh, alfalfa plant, not deep down in, but in the upper portion. That's where I'm going to sweep. So after taking those 20 sweeps, we now shake the uh, sweep net down, get those insects to collect in the bottom of the net, and now we slowly open up the net and look for the insects uh, that are appearing. The alfalfa larvae, if we have any in here, are going to be uh, green and very small uh, worms at this point, I think probably on the order of a quarter to maybe three eighths of an inch long. So far all, all we see are aphids here. These are mostly pea aphids, I think. So far we haven't found any. There's one right there, our first one. See that uh, Nathan on, is uh, manning the camera here. See this is an alfalfa uh, weevil larvae. Only about a quarter of an inch long, so quite small still. Here's another one right here. You can see it's uh, green as well and with a uh, dark or black head. So that's the third one. Here's the fourth one. 
fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. It looks like we have 10. So here's a great example. See the white line right down the midline of its back and a uh, dark head or black head. And only at this point, only about maybe a quarter to uh, three eighths of an inch long. So we have uh, nine uh, larvae at this point. Hi, I'm Nathan Heights with Growmark FS, continuing our discussion on alfalfa weevil. If you've scouted and have determined that uh, your weevils do reach the economic injury threshold, then you're probably going to want to make a chemical application to uh, fix that. So you've got a lot of different options such as Warrior, Warrior 2, Malathion. So you can consult uh, with your crop specialist from Growmark FS to make the right decision. Um, unless you're going to harvest within 7 to 10 days and then the pre-harvest interval of most of those products won't work out. So your best option then is to just harvest as soon as you can to limit the amount of injury you're going to get. Now if you go that route, you're probably going to want to check your stubble afterwards and see if they're still feeding. If more than 50% of the regrowth has feeding, then you're going to want to make a chemical application then with the same uh, product option for the most part. So you could use whatever works best for you. Just if there's something you use a lot, like for potato leaf hopper, you might want to consider something else to reduce resistance. But other than that, uh, best luck to you and thank you.